final video. Today I am back with another one of my dream setup videos. Um, and unlike last time where we did a Best Buy slash Amazon one, I want to continue this series. Kind of, I don't know if it would be a series, but kind of like a mini series. Um, looking at different websites, figuring out what I would want in my dream setup. And today we are doing um, B and H photo and video. So I kind of compiled some of the things. Oh, this wouldn't be my entire dream setup. Um, but this is some of the things that I would want, let's say, if I had all the money in the world to get a setup. Um, and again, this isn't everything, and no, I'm not buying this. I can't even get close to affording this. Um, but it's kind of fun just to go around and see, like, if you had all the money in the world, what you would buy as your dream computer setup. So let's look through what I've gotten. So um, I'll start back at the bottom here. And you'll see that I started with the Apple Mac Pro with Afterburner card. Now, of course, I'm going to go with the Mac Pro because I really do like Apple computers. Um, I've always really liked Apple products. Thought they were really good, and I especially love Mac OS. So, yes, I would get this one. Now, if we want more information on which this one is, well, I would get the 2.5 gigahertz because that turbo boosts up to one, um, 4.4 gigahertz, which would be fast enough for almost anything. Plus, it's 28 cores. I could edit, like, 8K video. Um, and then I get a 1.5 terabytes of RAM because I'm going to go all out on this thing. Um, and then I would get the 8 terabyte um, SSDs. And then I was going to get two Radeon Pro Vega Duos with 64 gigabytes of uh, video RAM. An afterburner card for rendering stuff. And, of course, I'm not going to get the wheels because I don't want this rolling out of... Um, right out of my desk. So if we go back to the cart, um, now I just I'm not buying this again. Um, just put the other things in the cart so I could do it for the video. Then what I would do is I would get three, yes, three Apple Pro Display XDRs with the um, um, nano texture glass to make it not so um, not reflect <laughs> light. Um, and I'd also get the pro stand with them because it may be overpriced, but from what I've heard, it's a decent stand. Um, then um, for a NAS server, now this would be not close to being able to store everything, but this would be a start. Um, a 5 base Synology NAS with, um, well here, why don't I put this one in a new tab, and I'll put it up here. Um, and I'll just show you guys what this one is. Um, so this one here... Um, has five um, bays for 3.5 um, inch SATA drives. It has a 2 gigahertz Intel Celeron CPU quad core, four um, X gigabit Ethernet ports, eight gigabytes of RAM, and I guess you guys can just see the rest of everything there. Um, and I, it has, as you can see, all the ports on the back. I think it would do quite good um, for just storing stuff. So we go back now and keep going up. So then these hard drives here, these eight ter these four eight terabyte drives, I actually probably have to get five of those since there are five bays. Um, five of those, those would just go into the Synology NAS. Then going on to microphone, I would get this really nice Rode NT USB microphone. This one goes for $170, but I thought it looked like a decent microphone. Um, up here, this would be my storage server. Um, for storing stuff, actually kind of editing off of in some cases, but it's in a 160 terabyte 16 bay NAS server to go inside of this server rack. Um, and the reason I would go with an actual rack mount one is I would want it to be industrial so that it can actually, well, do stuff. And this one can hold up to 160 terabytes and 16 um, bays. And this has 8 gigabytes of DDR RAM. And a 2 gigahertz Intel Celeron quad core CPU. Now this is an older one, but to be honest, um, but if I ever do get the chance to buy this in the future, it's definitely going to change um, my thoughts on things, and there'll definitely be better technology out there. So this is just like right now what I would do. Um, now let's go back. So that would be the rack mount. Um, it's a 12U server, and this one here is actually a 3U. The actual thing itself um, is 3U, so this should be able to fit a few of those. Then I would get a, um, I think that's Ubiquity, I think that's how they pronounce it, Networks um, PoE Gigabit Switch. Now, I would do PoE um, just kind of to help it um, if there were devices I needed, but I wouldn't really use it for the PoE. I would probably just use it to, because it's Gigabit, and Gigabit is fast. I mean, um, a lot of people like to edit off a of 10 Gigabit, but to be honest, Gigabit would be fine. 
at least in the day and age we are right now. And of course the camera. Now if I was going to be making professional looking videos, I would go with a Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini Pro 12K. Um, and I would also get a lens for it. Now with that and the lens, it goes for twenty two, almost $23,000, which is expensive for a camera. But it's 12K, so I mean I can't blame them. And I do like Blackmagic Design um, software and hardware. I'm using their um, video editing software for years, um, DaVinci Resolve. So I kind of like I kind of like their brand. I like what they do, and I definitely trust them. And then I get I don't I actually don't know what kind of card this takes, so I would just get like 128 gigabyte um SD cards. I don't maybe leave in the comments below what does this take, actually. Maybe it said it. And I just didn't I didn't just didn't catch it. Uh, maybe it'll say down here. Uh, no, I guess it doesn't. Um, but this is what I thought cool was it um, shoots at 8K 120 FPS. That is just crazy. Um, or 12K at 60 FPS, which is probably what I would use. Um, and then we go, let's go back um, to here. So then I would get a shoulder mount if I wanted to mount it on my, on my shoulder um, walking around doing vlogs. I don't know if you do a vlog with a 12K camera. And then a tripod for it. And then... For the Mac Pro down back at the bottom and these three monitors, I would get this really cool looking um, desk. I thought it looked like a pretty cool desk um, with how it looked. It's got RGB on it. Um, it's got the mounts. It has areas for the monitors up on top and then keyboard and mouse down at the bottom, which I thought looked pretty cool. And then the last thing on my list would be some lights and I'd only get one of these because well, I'd probably be shooting in front of a green screen or something like that, so I'd only need, like, two or three lights. And, yeah, that would be at in um, April 2021 that it would be my dream computer video, computer slash video setup um, in April of 2021 um, from B&H Photo. And the total would come to just around, um, well, without their thing there, um, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. That is very expensive. But again, if I had all the money in the world, this is definitely what I would do. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye bye.